Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and I am back. So I have had the utmost privilege of traveling around and visiting the wonderful, wonderful island and country, of course, of Cyprus. So Cyprus is very, very dear to my family's heart. It is a place where my mum and dad have been going back and forth now for many, many years. And to be quite honest, when mum and dad go to Cyprus, it's very much like going home for them, a second home. Um, they have a very good relationship with a beautiful, stunning hotel. They've been going there for many years now, lots and lots of times. And I got the fantastic opportunity of joining my mum out there uh, this time. Unfortunately, my father couldn't join us. He had to stay at home. Um, what, he was dealing with some business and work. Unfortunately, he couldn't make uh, this journey. Um, but it was fantastic to spend the time with my mum. Last year, I got the absolute privilege to spend it with my mum and my dad and my brother. Um, and hopefully in the not too distant future, I'll be able to go again with my parents and, and the other family as well and have some uh, more really great memories to come. But um, this time, fantastic. It really, really was. Absolutely love Pathos. Um, that's the region in uh, Cyprus my, my parents love. Um, some amazing things to see. My mum knows Pathos area very, very well. Um, and some of the wonderful things which we got to do was incredible. We got some time to relax and one thing and another, but my mum very much took me to all different places where my mum and my dad go. Um, and it was a really lovely break. And actually in a couple of weeks, my mum and dad go out actually there again, and they were there in May too. So they go around about three times a year. So it was really great to explore um, with my mum and have that, that sort of time with my mum to, to be able to explore and make memories. And we've took some wonderful pictures. And um, this time we got to see some really great uh, sort of ruins and architectural and historical sites and things. The Ottoman baths um, in the Pathos area, we were uh, we took a bit of a tour and we'd done some sightseeing ourselves. My mum, we didn't sort of book on any sort of tour or anything. My mum took me around all different places and things, which was really, really great. Uh, Pathos Harbour, I absolutely loved, uh, which I, I loved last year. So really wonderful place and beautiful restaurants. One of my favourite restaurants in the world is set at the castle and it's right in front of the waterfront as well. So it was beautiful. It's our hotel, really, really nice. Um, and the mall in Pathos, absolutely love that. King's Avenue. Yeah, spent a tidy penny in there on some great things as well. I'm very much into up and coming trends and fashions and uh, all suited tire and stuff like that and shirts I love. So really got to spend some uh, some time there as well and some lovely uh, eateries and um, cafes and bars and things. So we had an amazing time um, and the time just flew on. Um, really great adventure and lots and lots of sights to see. So if you've never been to Pathos, I would wholeheartedly recommend that. And I know from my parents' perspective, they would certainly recommend that as well. My parents are my absolute best friends and it's an absolute privilege to share time with them. And last year, I got to spend it all together. And we've got some amazing pictures. And although I was very sad that my father couldn't join us this time, it was really, really great uh, to spend some time with my mum as well. And as I say, shortly, hopefully, we'll be doing it all again. Um, and I love that. And they'll be going in a couple of weeks' time to my my sadness, I won't be going on that uh, chance, but it's nice for them to be able to, to go away and have their time as well. We've got a very busy, hectic family life. Um, and unfortunately, moving on to a bit of a sad note, even though we had a fantastic time in Pathos and Cyprus, um, I mean, the heat, absolutely beautiful. Love the heat. I'm very much uh, one for the sun. Always look after my uh, my uh, skin in the sun. Um, and I went to uh, Cos, uh last month and um, had some problems with some sun allergies and some prickly heat and things and this time I found um, a sun allergy sun cream and it really looked after my skin and as you can see I've, my skin is really really great at the moment really really healthy um, but unfortunately I wasn't about the half of the week way through however I was very, very adamant that it wasn't going to stop or ruin my holiday. Um, a lot of my subscribers and viewers will know I love to travel, um, particularly in the Mediterranean. I love Greece, uh, love Cyprus, uh, love, love Turkey, love Spain, Portugal. I'm hoping to visit Italy real soon, Malta, another one of my to-do lists. I've been absolutely privileged to do a lot of traveling through growing up. My mum and dad have blessed me with some incredible adventures um, and really, really love that. This time, I have, lo and I mean, I've, I've been unwell probably about once in my whole lifetime whilst I've been on holiday um, before. I've had the odd things, but I mean, where I was really unwell only ever once before. And on this time, um, about a week or so before uh, going out to Cyprus, I had a bit of a strange chest come on. I had what I thought was just a bit of hay fever, perhaps a little bit of a cold, um, but it really did knock me for six. It really did make me feel rather quite unwell. I was... <coughs> And I was getting on quite fine, um, and but it was really quite heavy. But on the day of the flight, I still wasn't feeling particularly great. I was a little bit congested. Um, I got a bit of a long-term 
uh, sort of nasal nose issue um, with the sort of the bone and everything in my nose when I was 15. I had to have that broken. I've had my nose cauterized many, many times and um, and reset and all sorts of things done. And unfortunately, I've been managing that sort of problem since I was about 15, had it done, I turned 20, um, and it's really due to be done again and, and rectified and looked at. But however, I thought it was just a little bit of something to do with that, but it wasn't. Um, but I seemed to be not too bad, but I was a little bit chesty. Anyway, had amazing time in Pathos, absolutely beautiful sunshine, the food was amazing. I'm not one for alcohol, I enjoy an odd couple of glasses of something, the local beer, that type of thing, never go over the top. Um, and I actually thought it was just air conditioning. Um, but however, as half the week came through, my chest was, and you'll, you'll probably pick up here that I'm very out of breath, and I'll get into that in a moment. And um, if I start coughing, I will edit that out, because it doesn't sound very nice at all. My chest sounds horrendous. And um, what I started to develop was being really short of breath. And uh, it wasn't nice. It was a horrible feeling like my chest was really, really tight, and I thought it was just because of the heat. Um, I, I never thought that there were to be honest, anything else, but the, the cough came back and it got really, really bad at night. Um, and uh, my mum and I had an apartment, a uh, two bedroom apartment, and uh, I was in the lounge area um, most nights in the middle of the night, trying to drink some water, trying to control my cough and everything. And I, uh, a couple of nights, my mum woke up with me um, in panic, wondering what was wrong because I couldn't catch my breath. It was almost like that I'd run and run and run. And um, I went, I went to the pharmacist, local pharmacist, which my parents have used before. I've had, I, I actually used them last year for prickly heat. And um, it was amazing seeing the same lady as last year, funny enough. And she said that potentially um, it could be the, the atmosphere. I could have picked up something viral. And I thought no more of it. I thought I'm young. I'm, I'm usually a strong person. I've had a few issues, but I'll be okay. And um, I was fine. And I had some sort of bronchial um, sort of mixture of syrup, which they sold me, which worked for about a day or two. And then unfortunately, I'm not going to get into it. I had a real horrible stomach upset and stomach complaint uh, come on, which unfortunately put a bit of a damper on the last couple of days of my holiday. Uh, but I still managed to persevere and we still had a fantastic time all the same and some uh, really lovely meals and things. But I, I really started to keep it to a plainer choice just because I was starting to feel a lot a lot more tired. I was starting to feel um, like I didn't have as much energy and my chest was really starting to take over. So um, at this point, I was kind of thinking in the back of my head that something doesn't seem quite right. So when it came to coming home, um, as much as I was very, very sad, I knew I had to do something. Um, so I came home Amazing to see my dad. My dad picked us up from the airport. It was great to be home, but then our weather hasn't been very, very good here back in the UK. And um, it seems to have affected me and making me more out of breath. So I was very quick to get in touch with the doctor and I was examined and my chest and everything. And he was very quick to um, suggest that I had a lower respiratory uh, infection and it was affecting both of my lungs. He could hear when he examined me and he thought that my stomach upsets was from um, all part of it and that I was to relax, take things easy and just to be really careful. He gave me some steroids and I've got like this... Um, uh, I think it's an antibiotic sort of spray as well for my nose and one thing or another. Um, so I'm doing that. And then he sent me to the hospital for some x-rays and some blood work to be done. Because um, the cough had been going on, on and off now for about, we're in my fifth week now. So very soon to be going into my sixth week. Um, so yeah, a little bit sort of freaked out about that. Because when I breathe in, I can feel something here. I had a really amazing holiday. I do wish though that I could do all over, all over again without this sort of in the background. As I say, love photography. I took some amazing pictures. My mum took me uh, to some fantastic sites, um, to some beautiful places. As I say, in Paphos, the Ottoman Baths, I love. There's a temple there, absolutely incredible. Um, I think it's Tomb of the Kings, um, which I haven't yet seen. We were going to do a trip there to a vineyard, but we didn't. We're going to wait for my dad to do that as well. We're all going to do it together. Um, but there were some beautiful sites. The more I absolutely loved the uh, old town, uh, the new town, the new marketplace, which is built in Pathos. So just dropping some things in there if you ever get the opportunity to visit Pathos. And you'll see, I am quite, uh, as I said, if you get the opportunity to go there, do go because it's an incredible, beautiful place. And the culture, the people are absolutely lovely. But I am getting something come across my chest and it is worrying me a little bit. I've never had anything like this, I have to admit. I've flown a lot, um, been on many, many flights, never had any problems apart from once when I was a lot younger. Um, and I had to have some oxygen, but this time I was fine. Touch wood, I was okay. <clears throat> but I was okay. So sort of 
yeah, it's it's not great to report that I've got this going on now. Um, so I'm just waiting for the results to come back. Um, and hopefully that will all be fine. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, of course it will be fine. It's just, I'm just feeling quite uncomfortable, but I wanted to keep an update on my channel just to say that I know a lot of subscribers wish you well on my holiday. And after I done the thank you clip, a lot of, I had a lot of amazing comments. So thank you very much for the bottom of my heart for that. As I say, I thank everybody for taking the moment, a moment or whether it be a few seconds, whether it be months following a certain journey or something which I'm covering on my channel. It is amazing for somebody to connect and pick up with that and just leave so many comments and so many amazing sort of insightful things. It's just beautiful. So thank you so much for that from the bottom of my heart. Um, it would be great to be able to sort of then next time I do a clip or what have you come on here and say that it's it's fine. We're, we're through it all and we're all OK. Um, but yeah, and yeah, but it's just, I have to admit, really uncomfortable coming back from a holiday. You expect to come back from a holiday, don't you, and your travels to be rejuvenated to be feeling relaxed and well um yeah but it's been a bit of a tough one i have to admit as i say a beautiful time in pathos an amazing part of the world an amazing amazing holiday um yeah love all the greek islands love cyprus really love turkey um yeah i can't wait to go again i have to admit i'd stay on holiday if i could all the time um so what's coming up then on the channel so of course hopefully we can get this in my chest away pretty soon and quick now i can get back to things so work is going to be busy coming up the next couple of weeks however within that i am taking another trip in a couple of weeks time and that will be uh that was my uh, twin brother's birthday gift to me which is to belfast here in the uk um so i'll be traveling to northern ireland and we have got he has got us tickets um to see the titanic museum in belfast so that will be really really great so i cannot wait to see that map i have always had an absolute passion for the Titanic and have loved the history behind it and just everything associated with it so that would be really really great um that's coming up and of course i'll be bringing a whole host of all different things coming up on my channel we will be looking at a new product which i've been using by philip kingsley hair density serum which is a really lovely product and has been really really showing some positive positive effects um and i've been using that for quite a few weeks now which is really going great so i can't wait to bring that to my channel as well we're also going to be looking at the shampoo and conditioner for that coming up as well and then we'll be looking at some skincare products coming up too um, and i may even have a look at that sensitive product i was telling you about for the sun uh, which i used when i was out in pathos as well so as i say amazing to, to report and sit here now i've got back and said that pathos beautiful absolutely had an amazing time um really wholeheartedly recommend cyprus so many wonderful incredible things to do there and so many beautiful sights to see and the history the culture absolutely stunning so many incredible things uh to certainly absorb and soak up and take in um and sun and if sun is your thing then it's certainly a place for you to visit products coming up if you're concerned about your hair if you're thinking that your hair is looking a little bit lackluster whether you're a guy sat there thinking my hair could do a little bit of thickening up or if you're a lady sat there thinking that your hair's a little bit more like it's not necessarily holding the style which you want or perhaps you want a little bit more fullness or or perhaps you want to slow down the hair fall perhaps you want something to really um inhibit the effects of if you're going through some thinning for a whole host of reasons then this serum coming up by philip kingsley is going to be for you and of course skincare so many great additions and options out there now to be able to use for men's skincare and everybody's skincare as well so that will be coming up shortly on my channel okay on the back of that god bless thank you very much for watching and until next time i will be hopefully bringing you some really hopefully insightful some great things so you'll be able to interact with my channel and uh yeah hopefully uh agree with me that there'll be some great things to come and i certainly uh hope that you'll be with me to be able to enjoy that as well okay so thank you very much for being here and until next time as i say take great care god bless thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you real soon bye for now